This video lesson will show you how to replicate the famous Andy Warhol pop art effect and apply it to a photo of your own. Now first start off by opening your own photo inside Photoshop and if you look here on my screen that uh, you'll see I already have a photo open with a layer of the finished effect already and uh, underneath it is my original. Now to start off I'm going to delete my finished layer here and begin the lesson. The first thing to do will be to cut your object out from the scene and uh, I've already cut mine out and I have a alpha channel so I am going to load the selection from an alpha channel. Now this is where you should probably pause the video and take time to make a good clean selection of your object. Once you have that um, you need to copy it and paste it to its own layer. Here I'll go ahead and turn off my original layer to assure I have a nice clean cut and as I can see it, it looks like I do. Next thing to do will be to uh, create a layer above the original um, that we will use for our background. We will fill it with a color of our choice. So I'm going to go ahead and create that layer. Then I'm going to uh, pick a color to use as a background color. And I will pick a shade of yellow one that I think will look good. And I will pick this one. Now I am going to go to edit and fill the uh, newly created background layer with my foreground color and I think it looks good. I make a copy of the object layer for later use and um, hide it for now because we will be using it in a moment. Go to the menu and choose image adjustments and threshold then use the slider to adjust the amount of detail that you uh, want on your image. Um, I'm going to choose this here about 122 and click OK. Now I'm going to unhide my second object layer and go back to the image adjustments threshold and adjust my slider to show a little, little less detail um, and click OK. Now if uh, I slide down the opacity, it will, the layer underneath will come through and it, it all, when you combine them together it shows a little more detail that way and uh, I'll leave it here about 56 percent. Next I'm going to uh, turn off my background layer because I'm going to merge the two object layers together now. You can do that by going to layer um, merge down. Now uh, I'm, I'm safe to turn it back on and I'm going to change the colors of the gray and the black shade so I'm going to choose select and color range and use the uh, color sampler there pick uh, the black shade and I'm going to click OK and now I'm going to choose a color to fill it with and I'm going to choose a darker a dark shade of blue to fill it with and uh, once you have that selected go to edit fill um, use the foreground color and have my shade of blue. Now next I need to um, select the lighter shade of gray. To select it I will use the uh, color range selection tool again. So I'll select color range and uh, use the color picker to uh, pick the, the gray. Now uh, I need to choose a lighter shade of blue and I'll do that now. I think this one here will do it. Click OK. And again I need to edit fill with my newly selected foreground color. And now it's a lighter shade of blue. And I think those colors look good together. But uh, you can actually take this a little bit further if you want. And I'll show you another way to make color adjustments. Um, do this by choosing uh, image adjustments U saturation. So in the menu, image adjustments U saturation and you can place these sliders here and you can see that uh, it changes colors just by moving it here um, uh, mess with the U, um, the saturation, check the colorize um, slide around until uh, you find a color you like and I think I'm going to leave it with the uh, shades of blue here in a moment um, yeah I think blue, blue shall do it and uh, now I'm done uh, thank you for watching